Is that choline during pregnancy impact children's sustained attention? Hello and welcome. You are watching IndiaTopDoctor.com with me, Vinita. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please like and subscribe and don't forget to like our Facebook page. In a recent research, 7-year-old children performed better in a challenging task required sustained attention if their mother consumes twice the recommended amount of choline during their pregnancy. A new Cornell study has found the findings were published in the Journal of the Federation of American Societies for Experimental Biology. The study which compared these children with those whose mother have consumed the recommended amount of choline suggests that the recommended choline intake for expectant mothers does not fully meet the needs of the fetal brain. Our findings suggest a population-wide benefits of adding choline to a standard parental vitamin regimen. Said Barbin Strupp, professor in the Division of Nutrition Science, DNS, and Department of Psychology and co-senior author of the study, Parental Choline Supplementation Improves Child Sustained Attention. A seven-year follow-up of a recommended controlled feeding trial. The first author of the study is Charlotte Benfeld, PhD, 19 years, a former graduate student in the Strupp Laboratory. Few studies with the human subjects have evaluated the effect of a maternal choline supplementation and this is the first study to follow the children to school age. By showing that the beneficial effects of a parental supplementation endure into childhood, these findings illustrate a role of a parental choline in programming the course of a child cognitive development. Canifield said, and because ability to sustain attention in challenging situation is critical to nearly all areas of cognitive performance, the cumulative impact of improving sustained attention is likely to be substantial. Current recommendation includes those for pregnant women were set in 1998 and are based on the amount of choline needed to prevent liver disinfection in men. Studies have shown this research was funded by the National Institute of Food and Agriculture, part of the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and the Balkame Crop Banfield, which supported by NICHT, Traineeship, and the Egg Nutrition Center, Young Investor Research Award for Early Exploring. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to like our Facebook page.